Oh no! A pony boy is going to the pits and slow down the head. He's going right into the back of him. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and good evening. Welcome back to what is round eight of the late-breaking online racing league. As we're on board with Bullet Boy, who's nearly put it into the wall, here in Austria with the Spielberg Red Bull Ring. That's the one with the giant bull in the center of it, if you were unaware, folks. I'm joined by uh, my man in the car and very good friend, Hocking F1. Ben, how are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. Do love a bit of Austria. Really fun circuit to race around. Of course, hosted our 50th race last season. So, yeah, very excited to see what uh, what today brings. Indeed, indeed. Of course, Austria, fun fact for you all. This is English Sam, by the way, this week. We've, we've had Mexican Sam last week. We're back to English Sam. Um, Austria, one of the few countries that hosts an F1 race that I've actually been to, which is always good. Uh, it's a wonderful place. I was there in the snow. It was delightful. Ben, speaking of weather, what is the weather like for qualifying and the race? Uh, it will remain dry for both quali and the race, so the streak of good weather continues in our league. Surprising, because here in England, of course, the streak of bad weather seems to continue endlessly. Oh, there's a car in the middle of the track right in front of Bullet Boy. It was a bit Sebastian Vettel-like as a Renault emerged straight into the centre of the track as Bullet Boy ploughed towards what is Turn 5. Of course, one of the smallest tracks on the entire calendar with a lap just over one minute. Uh, I believe we're looking at around a one minute four, one minute five. We'll see just how quick these guys are. And of course, Toxic Tomato this weekend is going for the all-time... No, did he get the record last time? He did. He's going for six races in a row he currently leaves the championship by 24 points and he's looking to extend that consecutive race swing and streak bullet boy crosses the line on hard tyres on a 105 you love to see it then speaking of strategy tyre choices it seems there's a lot of different stuff down the group what are you thinking of going for uh so i think i'm gonna start on the soft tires i've, I've got this one run um on the on the mediums but i yeah i'm gonna switch over straight after i think yeah and over this has retired uh lopez is off the track uh in the middle sector i'm not sure i wonder if it's that through the dodgy far chicane in the middle sector that is known to be pretty uh no no notorious little biggie reference for you all if you are unaware i am a fan of the rap genre Sam, out of interest, who does it say is on pole? Maynard, currently on pole with a time of 52 seconds, but he's currently in the pit, folks. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> I don't know what happened with that. Codemasters, we love you. DJ Marshall is going to come across the line and to set a time of a 106.4. That sees him in 10th place, one tenth behind Benjamin Hocking. One corner left to do for Psycho saying, he's very calm, always so composed in the car. DRS slapped open, bit of cheeky DRS, crosses the line, it is, it's a 104.7, and Johannes has done a 104.8, these two separating by one tenth, both of them on the soft tyre at the front there. And Toxic has finally set a lap time, he's on the 105.8 on hard tyres. Bullet Boy there on the medium tyres, jumping up into what is actually third place, once again folks, please ignore the fact that Mania is sat at top of the level, oh and there it is, Caesar, a 104.3 on the soft tyre, Four tenths faster than Psycho saying his old nemesis. That is a, a steady lap time to get himself back into this championship hunt. Of course, Caesar is getting married this year, folks. So uh, get your congratulations down in the comments. Uh, he will unfortunately be leaving us for a few races. Maybe coming back during his honeymoon because we know how committed he really is. Maybe that is his honeymoon. Just racing for LB. It's my honeymoon. I think Lopez is going to try and get a toe off me or something. Lopez is on the hard compound of tyre, so that's interesting. It might be worth you backing off and letting him go out in front of you, actually. Well, he's just let me pass, so I'm going to go for it. Cheeky, cheeky boy! We don't have any Monza shenanigans going on here, thank you very much. But here we go, we're on board with, uh, we're on board with Ben now. 
He swings it around the far corner. A beautiful line you've taken through there. Let's hope you can do the same line on your actual lap. Here we go then. Currently at 106.3. That's your time to be on a medium set of tyres. Sitting in 14th place. That was not the best line from turn one. But didn't lose too much time thanks to the exit. But uh, not hitting either curb. That is not the ideal line. We crossed the sector timer. You are two tenths up on your personal best so far. Kissing that apex nicely and running out up to the curb. Once again, the traction zone so difficult there. Bulletboy does well. He goes into a provisional second place on the grid as Toxic Tomato has gone into provisional pole on a 104.1. Bulletboy only two tenths behind on a 104.3. And Caesar less than a tenth behind Matt with a 104.3. So that's the top three separated by two tenths currently. Speaking of someone who is on a lap, two spell wizard is deciding to come out a little early and go for it. Oh, he's just nailed that penultimate corner. Through the final corner. DRS open. Where's he going to be? He's up into what is fourth place on the grid, a 104.5. Good lap from our second place man. Manga has disqualified himself from the session. Can we just give an honorary mention? Really honorary mention to Manga there. That is a really decent thing for him to do. Thank you, Manga. Speaking right, here we go, lads. The laps are on. Psycho saying is gunning for it. Oh, he's kept all four sides just inside the track. Oh, that might have been a cut, though. Yeah, I think he's ruined it on the last corner. He's going across the line. It's no improvement due to the fact that it was an invalidated lap time. That's devastating for the driver. A lot of drivers starting their laps now. We've got to keep on board with all of them. Of course, no Harry here today, folks. Uh, unfortunately, he's, he's a very important man doing a very important job. So, therefore, unfortunately, he's a little bit busy. But he'll be with us again shortly, I'm sure. There is carnage on track, folks. Cars are everywhere. Ben is one of those cars. Ben, lap going so far? So good so far? Uh, doesn't feel as good as the last one. Um, still, I mean, it's set to improve, just not as much as I'd like it to. Hesk has just jumped into second place at 104.3. Ben is eight tenths up through that middle sector. That's impressive times. Caesar can't improve. Two spell can't improve. Currently toxic does sit on pole position. Ben needs a big final sector to really jump up the grid. He's finally got through properly. He's going across the line. It's going to improve it to ninth place. So on a 4.9. The grid, top 10 separated by less than 9 tenths. Gilzo coming towards the start finish line. Can he improve? Yes, he goes up to 6th. Cycle sends back down, but he can't improve. Bullet Boy is on a lap. But he's got faster for his second sector. It might be only a, a, a best of third. He's the final man on a proper lap. He's going to cross the line. No improvement there. He goes third. Toxic Tomato takes another pole position. He is, I believe... Well, folks, there's a familiar yellow and black car sat atop of the table and atop of this race currently. Toxic Tomato on the soft tyre leads us away. He's looking to get a sixth race win in a row and continue the record-breaking streak that is. Up alongside him is Heskey in the Williams. That's right, folks. There's a Williams on the front row, also on the soft tyres. I don't know why I'm saying on the soft tyres. Every single car in the top ten is on the soft tyre. Bullet Boy in third, Caesar in fourth. Those two fought for the uh, season. Two, season three season championship so watch out for those two two spell he's in fifth that's our second place man Gilzo already back on the starting grid so his tires going to be very cold watch out for him maybe dropping backwards the king of the bing he's in sixth Psycho saying he's in seventh the hang is he's in eighth and our very own Mr. Hockey the other Renault he's in ninth and the, the man that loves number eight but the man who's currently in number ten the Deej, DJ Marshall in the Toro Rosso, also on the soft tyre. Lopez, the first man outside of uh, the top ten. He actually qualified on the mediums, but he's opted to start on the softs. I believe it's a one-stop round here. Ben can confirm that. In 12th, Garner Man, he's on the uh, softs as well. Hapuli Boy, he's the first man not on soft tyres, mediums. Yankton also on the mediums, Purple Petrol on the softs, so he's hoping to get a quicker getaway than his teammate. Cards, the season one champion, the Ferrari, he's on the mediums. No best on the mediums, I'm rounding out the grid. The hero, that is Manga, who disqualifying himself from qualifying to, to save the day. He's on the medium tyres, and maybe the whole grid can do the opposite and let him through just for a bigger bang. So who knows? Okay, folks, here we are then. Five red lights are building. You've got Toxic on your right, Hexky on your left. 
It's lights out, so away we go, the driver for the way, Hess has got a good start, up along Toxic Tomato, they're side by side, into the first corner, the same receives from Bullet Boy, Toxic rounds round the outside, he looks like he's got the position for now, but begin the slipstream fest! Everyone looks like they've got it away relatively cleanly, actually. Then you're up to seventh. A good start for you. DJ Marshall's also moved up position. Hess is going outside. Oh, there's a huge crash! Further up, Lopez is out. There's a, there's a Williams up. Johannes has been taken out as well. That is devastating. Lopez in the wall on, on the second corner there, going down the straight. That is devastating. Surely that, that almost could have been a safety car as Gilzo and Ben come together through turns five for whatever it is. Rob Ball with Ben now. He's trying to get right down the inside of Gilzo, who's managing to hold him off well. Only one change in the top five, and that is Caesar getting past Bullet Boy. It's all to play for here. Look how the cars are all aligned. All so close together. Golden Man only one tenth behind DJ Marshall as well. Ben was pushing Gilzo around that corner. Oh, Gilzo looks a track extended over there. I wonder if that's a warning. As Toxic, of course, leads us through the first lap, and he's now got a one second lead over Heskey. Ben doing the first corner much better than he did in qualifying, although Gilzo's got a great run on two spell. Maybe this can open the door up, but Ben needs to be careful. He's got the legendary Psycho saying right behind him. Gilzo going for the move round the outside of two spell now. He breaks late! And two spell manages to cover off nicely. That's over the door a little bit for Ben, who's now got a double toe. That's right, folks, on your foot. Double toe. Down the, the uh, secondary straight. Ben pulls to the inside. Nothing doing there. This is a fast flowing corner. Always hard to get a move done. Bullet Boy put into the inside. Can he get the dive on Caesar? Ben defended from Psycho saying in the background. Bullet Boy down the inside. Caesar covers off. And Ben able to also defend from Psycho saying. So overtaking not as easy as it looks around here, it would seem. Gilzo looking very feisty in front on two spell. And of course DRS has been activated for a lap now, so the driver's making the most of that. Ben has got it because he's just close enough to the cars behind. Psycho then goes for a late breaking maneuver, but it's not late, late enough. Gilzo and two spills side by side as we now drag race down to what is turn four. Oh Gilzo put his nose in there, but nothing coming of it. And Ben has managed to get a little closer to the battle in front because of the squabbling. He's sizing up the move. DRS is over. Hesky doesn't have it. He's outside of the range. Bullet Boy pulls to the inside. He breaks late. Squeezes Hesky and he gets the move done. And his yellow flags is set to one. Gilzo gets past two spell wizard and all of that as well. DRS back open again. It looks like it's all counting each other out, unfortunately. I pretty would rather like a DJ Marshall now. He pulls to the outside. DJ squeezes as you would expect from the Toro Rosso driver. DJ tries to go back for the lunge and Janssen gets a five second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Her pretty boy is through for P10 and picks up the final point so far. Two Spell Wizard is only five tenths away from the next car. Consider folks that he's won the last race by pretty much a pit stop and the race before that by pretty much a pit stop. This is incredibly close for our lead man. Here they come. Up towards turn technically three, even though that isn't a turn. As DJ Marshall is one of the first to pit. Tries to get the undercut after he was stuck in heavy traffic around the Garner Man Capulli Boy situation. And it looks as though Caesar has got the move done on Heskey. He's up to third. Heskey drops from second place on the grid down to fourth. Gilzo runs wide again through turn one. That's open the door for two spell who's already alongside. DRS is open. Dodgy camera work for me there, folks. Apologies. But two spell does get through as Kans and DJ pick up a Oh, two spell's gone super wide. That's going to really affect his run now. And then being brought back into play with Psycho saying as well. These mistakes are coming thick and fast for everyone. As Bullet Boy is still only three tenths away from Toxic. I wonder if Bullet Boy were to try and go for the undercut, if he will jump the current leader. Ben is side by side with Oh God! That was so close going through the fast left hander. Ben's picked up a three second time penalty for all four times off the track. But he's got a much better run on Gilzo there. Is Gilzo going to come into the pitch? Surely those tyres are cooked. No, he stays out. He's let Ben through there. All oh, Ben's just executing a fantastic move around the outside. 
and a Pooty Boy picks up a three second time penalty. It's Killzo gets back in front of Ben. And Psycho Saints in the mix as well. The issue for Gilzo here is he does not have the DRS. Ben pulls to the inside. Cyclozo also wants a bit of the action. Oh, it's nearly free wide through the corner. Psycho saying he's going down the middle. Oh my god! They all can't fed. Gilzo goes for a little bit of a dive and hits a little bit of the grass. Psycho saying goes round the outside of the tour also. Gilzo drops from what was sixth down to eighth. Ben picks up sixth. Psycho saying moves up into seventh where he started. That was an epic battle with three, between three great drivers. And Heskey picks up a three-second time penalty. All four time. Bullet, oh, Toxy Tomatoes lost the back end. Bullet Boy nearly goes into the back of him. Bullet Boy picks up a three-second time penalty for cutting the previous corner. Toxic is struggling, folks. Not a line you hear very often. Not a line you hear very often at all. And Bullet Boy's got a much better run through turn one. The season's not too far off either. Toxic is struggling. Bullet Boy is alongside before the corner's even happened. Bullet Boy is through. Toxic defends. He breaks late. He's squeezed out Bullet Boy. He's knocked him onto the curb there. Pearl Petra picks up a three second time penalty. They're side by side now going towards turn four. Toxic's got the straight line speed. Because Bullet Boy isn't using any ERS again. Bullet Boy locks up and Toxic carries on the race lead. Seeds are only three tenths off his battle as well now. Is one of them going to go for an undercut? Yes, Psycho Caesar rather is in for the undercut. So he's going to try and jump these guys who are squabbling. As Bullet Boy's got a much better run out of every single corner. Still using no ERS. I don't understand the strategy. Gilzo now has racked up nine seconds of penalties. He's going to really have to pull something out of the second stick to do well as Hocking, Garnerman and Caesar all in this lap. Here comes Bullet Boy again. He's going, oh my god, he's squeezing up the inside of Toxic. He breaks late and Bullet Boy takes the lead of the Austrian Grand Prix. Toxic legitimately falls to second place for the first time. No, never mind. He's coming straight back at him the next corner. They're side by side. But it breaks late. He squeezes him out with a long right hand and a slight contact there. Both drivers are okay. Still side by side. Toxic tucks in behind him. Bullet Boy does legitimately lead the Austrian Grand Prix. No, they're both in. They are both in. The leaders are in. Keep an eye on, on Caesar, folks, on the, uh, the time sheet on the left. We'll see if he can jump the pair of them. He was only four tenths behind when he pitted. Hetsky now is our leader. Two spell wizard carries on behind as well. Psycho saying in as is Gilzo. Let's keep an eye on Caesar. Caesar's on the start, finish straight. Toxic Tomato is leaving. Caesar is sweeping round. Caesar's got them both. Caesar is now your race leader. Provisional race leader. Bullet Boy's got the run on him though. They're side by side. Caesar's on the hards. Bullet Boy's on the mediums. Caesar covers off one, Bullet Boy goes for the switchback and pulls it off! And he gets in front of his rival, Caesar there, a great move from the McLaren driver. Bullet Boy is all over this race. As Heskey and Two Spell are in, Bullet Boy desperately trying to get past the Ferrari driver. And he's alongside for turn one and does, comes back out of it. Caesar holding off Toxic Tomato for now, they've all got the slipstream. Toxic and Caesar looking to fight off what is currently a provisional second place. Caesar dives, comes. That is just season two champ fighting season one champ. Toxic might have just lost his front wing. Now he's fine. He's managed to get through okay as Caesar and Carnes battling hard. Caesar does now get through and Toxic's trying to follow him through. Carnes, it always hit Toxic as Toxic two rolls on the grass. Card is holding on, it's holding on. Toxic goes round the outside and he'll snatch back that provisional third place. And now he's back on the hunt for Caesar and Bullet Boy in front. There's a McLaren off there. It's Janssen. Janssen's out the session. He's binned it in turn one. And Toxic Tomato looks to be getting past Caesar. He does. Toxic Tomato moves up into a provisional second place. Speaking of the other DNF, Lopez Magnus Fly, who was taken out in lap one, he was able to finish in the top six every single race up until this one, unfortunately. 
Toxic is getting past Nova Vest while he's trying to. Nova Vest is fighting for position, as is Maynard Bullet Boy up front. Bullet Boy gets through, as does Toxic, so our race leaguers are carving their way through. Bullet Boy only has a booby boy, the battle of the boys, left for the front two. Oh, there's a change up front. Toxic and Maynard are fighting. Toxic's had to go off track, but he's got round it. Caesar is the one that's struggling behind all this traffic at the moment. He's lost about a second and a half to the race leaders as Bullet Boy looked to try and get past Bullet Boy, a current race leader into turn one. Lost the back end there. That can open the door for Toxic with the double toe. Bullet Boy getting at, uh, past Bullet Boy. I think Bullet Boy's let him through. Yes, he has. He's back down on that one. And Toxic goes up the inside. A late dive for the Renault driver. He has to card through this traffic and has done. He's desperately trying to get on the back of top. Oh, Bullet Boy. Six tenths is the gap between our two leaguers. And Toxic now one tenth away from our race leader Bullet Boy. We can see the lead legitimately change once again. Bullet Boy is hugging the inside line of the track. He's forcing Toxic all the way around the outside. Bullet Boy squeezes Toxic. Toxic goes for the switchback. Bullet Boy covers off and it all stays the same for now. 16 laps remaining, folks. Toxic fakes to the right, goes to the left. Bullet Boy defending desperately down the inside, but there is nothing he can do about it. Toxic snatches the lead back for the McLaren driver. Two spell Wizard and, and Psycho saying side by side through this middle sector. They've got Khans in front who still hasn't stopped as well. That could cause some unnecessary traffic as they're gaining massively. Khans has got the AI sign right next to him as well. I wonder if he's paused the game. That's really holding him up. Ben's on the back of them now. Ben's got to take advantage of this absolute calamity going on in front. Cyrus head down the inside. Two spell. Oh, Ben's hit him. Ben hits the AI driver and loses the front wing. That is got to be race over for Ben. Surely, I don't think he'll get points from here now. That is disastrous for the round driver. And Bullet Boy is getting the race lead back off Toxic Tomato. Another change in the lead, lap after lap. These two, so closely matched. Oh no! A Bullet Boy is going to the pits and slow down. The Hesky has gone right into the back of him. He's stopped in the middle of the track. Two spell gets passed. Psycho say also passed him, but slow because he's had to go round him. And that's also the door for Gills. I know the best picks on a three second time penalty. Hesky is still fighting Psycho say. I think realistically, Hesky should let the pass. There's no best sets the fastest lap of the race on the 107. And in all that kerfuffle, Toxic has somehow got the lead back and built up an eight tenth gap. 12 laps from Angie, folks. Oh, Bullet Boy loses the back end. Mega sets the fastest lap at 106.7. He is in the top 10 as well, so that will currently stand as DJ Marshall gets past Papuli Boy. Papuli Boy goes back at him and gets the position. And Ben right behind your hangers now with those fresh medium tyres. Uh, your hangers completely missing the curve and running wide. And Garner Man and Nova Vest swapping places. Rapidly as well. Nova Vest takes this one for now. Ben got up the inside of your hand is that looks like it could be moved down and dusted. Not just yet. Your hand is nose is still there. He's in the slipstream, but Ben does have DRS and your hand has no ERS to his name. Yeah, Ben claims P13. Top two separated by four tenths of a second. Bullet Boy is still right on the rear wing of Toxic. Both of them using zero ERS down that long straight. Of course, when something really is long, folks, you have to emphasize the word long by putting more zeros in to make it long. And this battle is long. It is going on and we love to see it. Oh, that's contact between the top two. Bullet Boy loses his front wing after he hits the rear wing of Toxic. That's, that's got to be the wing gifted to Toxic now. Wing number six. Unless Toxic makes a devastating mistake, it's, it's all over there for Bullet. A Bullet Boy and Garnaman, though, fighting hard over the final point. Two tempers separate them. Garnaman on the hard tyres. Who Bullet Boy on the soft tyres. Two compounds separate them. A Bullet Boy runs so wide through the final corner, but does get a great run because of it. It'll have got a warning for that. 
As Gilzo picks up another three second time round. I think he's on 12 or 15 seconds now. And Kabuli Boy snatches the final point away from Garnaman. The two Haas drivers are looking to get past Psycho Saint. Nova Vest does. He's up to seventh. Psycho Saint with that broken front wing is now down to eighth. And Mania is also looking to capitalise. I wonder if some of the medium tyre runners are struggling a lot more than we thought. As Mania is going up the inside of Psycho Saint. And gets the move done. Psycho Saint's got nothing left to give with that half a front wing. As the Blue Boy is only two seconds away as well. DJ going every which way he can. So then attraction through the middle sector. Your hangers breaks later on a corner that you don't really need to break late for. DJ Master with a bigger run. He's just got so much more grit going through the corners. Oh, he nearly squeezes it down the penultimate corner, but thinks bigger of it, which is a wise move. Johannes gets the better run, and then runs wide. This is going to open the door for DJ Marshall. DRS is open. And the two horses are side by side. Omega gets through. That's for P7. Two spell wizard gaining. He's gaining. Heskey fakes to the right hand side. Two spell pulls the switch back. Gets the better traction, but Heskey parks it on the apex, and that is a no move for two spell. But Gilzo and Mayna have all caught up to this fight. So the fight for fourth place has turned into a five car battle. Because Nova Vest isn't too far behind either. Gilzo looking to almost just graze the back of two spell with his wizard with his front wing there. not often oh that was so close kills are nearly punting two spell into the gravel fortunately no contact made and the position stay as they were so often you see so many cars this close together for this long without any form of actual side-by-side -side action a lot of the cars struggling there for that middle sector as they all lose the back end i imagine due to this last few lap tire wear as toxic has started his final lap of the race and looks destined now to take a sixth consecutive wing after the contact with Bullet Boy put him out of contention. The yellow flags is set to Oh, that's Mayna! Mayna's in the wall! He's lost half his front wing as well he's going to be a real wounded soldier around the uh, the final lap of the race Garner man can see him Ben's on the same straight we'll see how that comes up later on in the race but Toxic Tomato is now going through the penultimate corner of the final lap there's the final corner he cruises towards the line, swerving in glory, he wins his sixth in a row. Utter dominance now in the championship. Bullet Boy with half a front wing does come across the line for second place. Caesar will cross the line for third. He's done well there. No, he jumps Bullet Boy because of penalties. Caesar up to second. Bullet Boy third. Heskey is just holding on. They're separated by a mere milliseconds. It goes Heskey, two spell, Gilzo. Two spell gets fourth through penalties. Heskey fifth, Gilzo sixth. Nova Vest jumps into sixth to Gilzo because of penalties. Habunawood crosses the line. He says eighth. Mayna is going to cross the line in ninth with Garman just behind. And Hocking, he's going to come across the line. Unfortunately, just outside of the points for 11th place. Cutting for him. DJ Marshall crosses the line in 12th and puts it in the wall for good measure. And actually beats Hocking on penalties. So Hocking jumps down at 12th. Saga Saint crosses for 13th. Johan is 14th. Thurl of Ectral 15th. And Carnes, the man that caused the damage for DJ Marshall due to being an AI driver. So far behind the field on this one. He will cross the line to finish in last. But my, my word, what a race we had. That was dramatic stuff. Let's get to the podium. Well, there you have it, folks. Toxic Tomato once again, six times in a row. Not many things you could do six times in a row. But uh, two spell. I said Toxic. It's two spell. He is your six-time winner and your continued championship leader. Caesar, after a penalty change, causes him to stand second after Bullet Boy, who nursed half a front wing home for the last ten laps. He stands third on the podium. What a dramatic race we've here, had here in Austria. 
Final confirmation there, folks. There you go. Toxic Caesar and Bullet Boy are your top three. Two spell due to the only man other than Manga to not pick up penalties. He finishes in fourth. Hesky fifth. Nova Vex, what a recovery from 17th on the grid. He finishes in seventh. He finishes in sixth. Gilzo seventh. He would have been much better if he didn't have the penalties. The Bullet Boy in eighth. Manga ninth. And Gala Man rounds off the points in tenth. DJ Marshall manages to finish in 11th due to having one less penalty than Hocking, who having a disaster meal sector of this race, ends up in 12th. Cycle saying in 13th, Johannes 14th, Purple Petrol, he finishes in 15th to place the qualifying cards, he is in 16th place. The two DNFs, Jackson and Lopez. We'll see you next time out, folks, but in the meantime, keep breaking late.